Hello, I am Debbie Cronister, and I'm an independent Stampin' Up! demonstrator, and I am here tonight to show you how I made these three adorable boxes. I'm not going to make all three of them, um, but I'm going to give you the basics of how to put the box together, and I'm going to make this one here. So, because the rest of them are part of your kit, and you should be able to figure this out if you've ordered the kit from me, and if not, um, it, they're easy, you know, and I'm going to show you how to do it. So let's get started. I'm going to move those out of the way. And in your packet, or in your packet, there's um, the box and the lid, which is what this is. You'll need to cut this at nine and a half by four or whatever DSP, so whichever DSP you're using out of these, you'll need to cut it um, at nine and a half by four. So let's go ahead and put the box together to start with. Um, this is the lid for the box, and um, it is really, this is a super simple box, and you don't have to have um, any adhesive to put it together, which is really a neat thing about the box. Um, so, we're gonna take the box itself, which is this, and let me just check something here and make sure that everything is working like it should be. Um, that's not what I wanted to see. Okay, um, let's get off of there and just get on there and that's everything is working good okay so this box is um, all scored for you and what you're going to do is you're just going to fold on all those fold lines oops and this one's going to come over and this one's going to come over even more um no it's not it's going to fold back that one's going to fold back and then this one's going to fold over, over, and this little one's going to fold back. So, um, but it's super simple. You'll see it as we go along. So you're just going to fold up all these lines. This one is going to fold back on itself. Okay, so we're going to start with, we're going to pull these two in from the side. And we're going to pull these two in. Just like that. I'm going to fold this one back just to keep it out of the way of the camera. Okay, and then these are going to come up, and same with this one. This one's going to get folded back just to keep it back. Um, it also makes it a little easier to work with when you're doing it. This is going to fold over and inside, and there's just, it just kind of tucks in there. Oops, <laughs> that one didn't stay. Over and inside and tuck in. This one goes over and inside and tuck in. And then this one comes down and holds it all together. Super simple, guys. Super simple. Um, this one then goes down. Let's see. This one goes in this way. And just really secures it all. And that is putting the box together. Very simple. Okay, so then we're going to take the the cover and the cover slides over top of it it's like a um i don't know what i want to call it it slides into there and so um we're going to take that and we're just going to put some adhesive on it so i'm going to start out with my adhesive on my box and i'm not going to go all the way across because i know that this piece of paper isn't going to fit all the way across so uh, and I want to butt that right up to that fold line that's there. Okay, now I can use put my adhesive on my paper and I'm just going to go about here and let's fold that over and see where it goes. And I want to try to fold it straight so it's even on each edge. And then I'm going to fold this in and put some adhesive on the very edge up here. And so bring that over and there we are super simple now I'm just going to crease this 
like it's supposed to be, and slide my box inside, just like that. Isn't that cute? Very simple. Okay, in your box, in your packet, you will have um, two pieces that are cut from the Stitch So Sweetly dies. This one, I cut the thanks out of for another card, one of your other cards. But um, we're gonna use that one, and we're gonna use this one. And so I'm gonna take my Black Memento and my little U stamp out of the um, stamp set that we're using. And I'm just gonna stamp the U right down here. Cover that up. And then I'm just going to glue this onto, onto my box, or onto that um, foil. And the foil is part of the packet that um, coordinates with this whole suite. It's part of it. It's the, it's got three beautiful colors of foil in it. So this is gonna go on the box and I'm gonna use dimensionals. Put one on each corner. And no one's ever gonna know I cut that thanks out of there because it's gonna go on the box. Take them all off. Did I take them all off? That's always the question. Okay, so that's off. And we're just gonna center that right on there. And then I have the word love, which has um, you'll need to cut out of your dies and cut it out of the um, Rococo Rose foil paper. And this I'm going to put on with the dotted mono, just because it's just so easy to do. Makes it super simple. And I'll punch that little bit out. Oh, come on, we need a pair of tweezers or, there we go. And same thing here, I'm just gonna use the mono. If you don't have this dotted mono, you can use um, a liquid glue. And that is gonna go in just like that. And there it is. I also have a little heart to put on there. This heart is rounded on one side and flat on the other. So you'll wanna go on the flat side. And I am gonna use this dotted adhesive on that also. It, Seems to work really well on it. So, oops. Can't hang on to it. I'm just gonna put that right up there. And that's it. I did have, I do have a little um, black dot on mine, but I don't think I have any more black dots. I am currently out of them. So, that is the final one, and I just put a little black dot right down here. One of the black matte dots. So. Thank you very much for purchasing this class for me. Thank you for watching today. I hope you have enjoyed it. And I, the next one will be, be at Bingo. On February 6th, we're gonna play Bingo. Um, that's always a fun time. And so don't keep your eyes open for the registration for that. And thank you very much.